Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will learn the second topic of class seventh science, that is nutrition in animals. You know that plants can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis, but animals cannot. Animals get their food directly from the plants or indirectly by eating the animals that eat plants. Also, some organisms eat both plants as well as animals. All living organisms require food for their growth, repair and functioning of the body. Animal nutrition includes nutrient requirement, mode of intake of food and utilization in the body. Food consists of many components. They are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and water. The components of foods such as carbohydrates are complex substances. These substances cannot be utilized directly. So, these complex substances have to be broken down into simpler substances. The breakdown of complex substances of food into simpler substances is called as digestion. Different ways of taking food by animals. The mode of taking food into the body varies in different organisms. For example, bees suck the nectar from the flowers. Eagle captures and swallows its prey. Hummingbird sucks the nectar from flowers and stiff the food particles. Mosquitoes suck the blood from our body and nectar from flowers. Do you know what is this creature called as? Yes, it's a starfish. Starfish feeds on animal covered by hard shells of calcium carbonate. Starfish has its mouth at the center. It pops out its stomach through its mouth to eat the animal inside the shell. The stomach then goes back into the body and the food is slowly digested. Digestion in humans We take in food through the mouth, digest it and then utilize it. Have you ever wondered what happens to the food inside our body? The food passes through a continuous canal that is divided into various components. Starting with buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. The buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus together form the alimentary canal or digestive tract. There are various glands associated with the digestive tract. They are salivary glands, liver and pancreas. The digestive tract and the associated glands together constitute the digestive system. Now let us take a quick look at the summary points. The breakdown of complex substances of food into simpler substances is called as digestion. The mode of taking food into the body varies in different organisms. Animal nutrition includes nutrient requirement mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body. The digestive tract and the associated glands together constitute the digestive system. All living organisms require food for growth, repair and functioning of the body. The buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus together form the alimentary canal or digestive tract. Thank you. Keep watching.
प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ द अपकमिंग वीडियोज़